The input to our system is a set of calibrated cameras and the associated sparse point cloud reconstructed with state-of-the-art structure from motion systems. Our production pipeline starts with the user selecting the part of the scene to be reconstructed by directly painting on the images. With the red strokes, the user selects the foreground part of the scene, while with the blue ones, the background. This is the result after running our segmentation algorithm. As you can see, Thanks to the fact that our GraphCut model considers both pixel-to-pixel -pixel and vertex-to-pixel -pixel links, the selection performed on one picture is automatically propagated to those covering the same region in different images. Once the foreground part of the scene has been selected, our system computes an initial depth map for each camera by thin plate interpolation of the known depth values. The system allows the user to provide a hint on the nature of the surface being reconstructed by specifying directions along which the curvature of the reconstructed surface should be zero. The user draws a curve in image space and then the curve is projected on the 3D surface and hence to the neighboring cameras so that the constraint is consistent with every other view. Furthermore, the constraint can be specified only on a sub-region of the image by painting a mask. In few seconds, the system solves an energy minimization problem that accounts for the coherency between depth maps and the constraint imposed by the user. The output of our system is a set of overlapping range maps from which a tessellated model can be easily obtained by reconstruction techniques. In this experiment, we use Poisson reconstruction. As a final step, we projected initial photographs to create a textured model. 